But she it is was, one. Oh my God, she said it was great. It was fantastic. Thank Whoa. you very much. What do you I mean? had a great time, and I was the third party, and it was awesome. She, she's, she got hopes and dreams, this bitch. It was awesome. I'm still friends with them, and they love me. <laughs> she, she, wow. she has hopes and dreams. Yeah. This little one here. Yeah. She's too young to even... She just hasn't... It's something nothing's happened to her for her to even need to think she would need to be like that. Hey, uh, yeah, and be a, a other girl to be a couple's threesome. She would be the chick that goes, "I'm competing. Like I, ain't, I'm gonna be the main." She's not the other chick. So for this story to happen and be interesting, she has to be a, a the other chick, and she's not gonna be the other chick. She's she's gonna be the girl trying to figure out how to be the chick, and it's gonna bore people. And that's why things that things fall apart. Hey, uh, Smokezilla from Kentucky writes, I'm leaving my wife after hearing this shit. Uh, <laughs> guys are leaving their wives after <laughs> after your story, Patrice. And then They should, should if she's not threesome. No. And Nick uh, Friction writes, fuck comedy. Patrice should be directing porno. I'm so fucking hard right now. All right. Wow. Well, I guess well, we take a break. You, now uh, we know why you were so happy when my you sir, My morning. fucking birthday was fantastic, man. Sounds like you had a great birthday. So what happens to this girl now? I, here's the big problem. Engine reserved. Where is she? Well, here's the problem. Mm -hmm. I, my girl has to run it. She goes. Here's my girl going like this. This is the thing. The, the wiring, men and women. My girl's like, well, man, because I'm thinking we got us a sex slave. Man. <laughs> we got like when, I, when we need a threesome, we go. We so sometimes we sit there and go, oh man, I want to do a threesome tonight. And then we go, oh well, I got this little prospect. This chick's like, what are you doing? Take it, treat it nice, take care of her, boom, boom, boom. Like, even going home, gave her 50 bucks to catch a cab. And, but we was going to drop her at the train to catch a cab from my house back to the city. Didn't catch a cab. She put her own money up. The cab driver's like, it's going to cost 100. So she's like, okay, I'll go. So she's going to put her own 50 up to mm -hmm. go. She's a soldier. The, nothing, nothing phased her. The problem is, my girl... She's not a real sissy. She's not truly a, a bisexual. She's a trooper. She gets down like that, but she might be 30, 40. She's not really like, I love women. Uh -huh. So she goes, maybe we can hook up for, um, I don't know, New Year's Eve or something. I'm going, bitch. In my head, like, Tuesday. But I can't. <laughs> but I Fucking can't. <laughs> Wednesday Eve. <laughs> but I can't, like, be anxious to be with this chick. You can't be anxious, guy. I can't be like, come on, sweetie. I can't fuck you. But it, it made me. I was. Dude, I fucked the what? shit out of her yesterday just based on my new. My horniness got up. Your new, new pussy just makes you feel better. And then you don't have to cheat on the bitch. And you feel better like you got. New pussy, we were kissing because sometimes you just like to have that that intimacy with another bitch, like like a serial killer type of shit. You just want to be alone, <laughs> and, your, and she let like that happen. A couple of kisses, some some intimate like into this chick by herself type of thing happened, uh -huh. and, and now I can't be like mm, tomorrow. I gotta be, I gotta take it light and have her do it, or it'll fall apart. It'll fall, it'll. If I'm greedy, it'll fall apart. So I, I just took that memory. I'm going to ride right. it for a minute, and that's it. Let's go to Jay in Jersey. Wow. Jay? Hey, guys. Hey. Listen, I'm in sales, and uh, by far that was the best motivational speech I could ever give any of the guys I work with. <laughs> I want to know Patrice trained. <laughs> Did you go to his sales training? Train <laughs> Baldwin and Glenn Gary Glenn Ross. <laughs> yeah, a lot of guys say they jerked it to your story, which is well, good, man. Because you should. It was I was that was the best threesome I ever had in my life, and we didn't even fuck her. No Amazing. fucking to Amazing. her. Amazing. Very good. So thank you, Jay. On the rag, no fucking. <sighs> And All the right. best ever. Can, Can I get your little Brazilian friend to come back in again? Give me a Christmas. She was in for like a fucking week. Yeah. She kept coming in. She, she wouldn't go away. She made my knees shake, that little piece of garbage. She came in. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, what a fine ass. You think she's pretty? Oh, she, no, she's a, she is beautifully ugly. Like, it's like she's so pretty and ugly put together that she's, she's dynamic. Like, she's just a dynamic little football. 
Yeah. Would you let her sit on your face and put her high uh, on your face? Why would you even ask that? Well, you, might, you might be in a faithful vibe. Two, no, not two girls, one Patrice's face. <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were really digging her, man. She, she made my knees shake. She really did. That was the second horniest time I've ever had in my life. It Because it was a whole slow talker into taking her pants off thing. And then she covered her little twat with her hands. Yeah. Did you see it at all? Uh, no, she covered it. Like, she pulled them down and then covered them with her hands, and you just see this small, meaty ass. And that, she was, I think she was the second, I mean, I've been horny, but I mean, where you go, oh, God, I, I gotta, you gotta put your face in ice cold water. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> the first horniest time ever, like, where, it, it, you know, you, you ever been rapey? <laughs> yes. Um, rapey? Yes. Like, where you just yep. go, God, help me not rape. Yep. And it was this fucking beautiful girl in England just she walked out of a club she was a model had to be staggering out of a club and just pulled her pants down squatted and pissed in the middle of the street and stood back up and walked away i almost fainted in the gutter <laughs> i almost passed out was it the animalistic thing about the whole thing it or? was so i jerked off seven times and it still didn't wow take care of the it uh, didn't get the, the evil out i just <laughs> right. had to sleep what the fuck is so like i like the wolf man you know the wolf man locks himself in yeah yeah and to, don't no matter what you hear don't open this door <laughs> I, had to some, I had to get somebody a gun if i come out of this room shoot, shoot me <laughs> and this girl this brazilian girl it had to be just in terms of a sh uh, to hit me in terms of horniness in the in the top it added wow. a second. She was such a little hot thing with that, just that, I don't know, I don't want to say ugly because that's so... No, she's not ugly. It, she's it, very pretty. It, ugly is not the word. It's like she's just a strange looking little sexy thing. There's something called funny looking cute. That's what she is. That is, yes, uh, yes. that can sometimes surpass uh, hot. Because she she's hot, yes. but she's yeah, oddly yeah. beautiful. Yeah, no, she's yes, that's not a even great, oddly no? beautiful. Uh, yeah, yeah, oddly you, beautiful falls into though. the you category. But about, right? there's funny looking cute, which is a weird thing. Like it, on on first inspection, I think Charlize Cla Ch Charlize Theron, yeah, is that face Re like really? a face what? of yeah. I no, think she's, she's like just, you go, she's pretty hot. She's man. considered like hot and beautiful <laughs> and classically beautiful. She's kind not. If you look at her, you know. Wait, how about Ashley Judd? Uh, well, I consider like you, them you like twins. Her, like, They're interchangeable, the two of them. This girl, that that's this Brazilian girl. That I'm she trying to think of a me. good example of funny looking. I don't know. Cute. Yeah. If she squeezed your that, cock, um, you think you would have come? If she would tug it a little bit? I I, mm. I ignored her. I Maybe. did that fake ignore oh, her. Shit. I didn't and she was so on. cute. She, I, did, I, did, I, had to have, I had to fake ignore her. Like I had to be above how cute she was. Like there's something when she pulled her little pants down and that small meaty booty, you could see the meat. You see how it was a meaty little booty, and she covered her twat yeah, up with did. her hand. It made me sick. My my stomach was turning. Like I was like, "Oh, you fucking dirty!" Yeah, you were just <laughs> like, like, I, would, upset I would risk you. my relationship. If my girl listen to radio. Just just stick my face right in that asshole. Really? Because that's how I am now. Immediately, it's asshole. Like, if I see <laughs> a beautiful girl, it's no more pussy. I'm just... <laughs> there you go. Right. Asshole. Oh, she... Oh, I want to put my face right in her asshole. There's no more vagina. The vagina has too much humanity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You just want the filthiest of holes. It's just wherever the stinkiest yeah. mess is. Well, we're 